Hey, good morning, Faith Reformed Church. Uh, this is Pastor Marcus, and I wanted to give you a couple announcements, a couple reminders, and a little uh, word of encouragement today. And I thought I'd do it from the Fellowship Hall. Uh, last time I did this, I was in the sanctuary, but the Fellowship Hall is also still here, uh, and the Fellowship Hall also misses you. Uh, so I, I hope you are well wherever you are this morning. A couple of announcements. Just want to give you a reminder of the weekly rhythm that we've fallen into. So uh, we have a Sunday morning time of worship. We have a Sunday evening time of worship led by Pastor John. We have a Wednesday night Bible study also led by Pastor John. And then we also have a Wednesday night time of worship uh, led by Paul, our worship director. If you've had any troubles connecting or finding any of these, please reach out to me and let me know. I'd love to help you find those as we're really trying to kind of live into this new rhythm uh, for this time because it looks like, you know, we might have to be doing this for a little while. Also wanted to let you know that this Sunday I'm going to be starting a new sermon series that I'm calling Found. We're going to be spending four weeks together in the parable of the prodigal son. It's a really famous story about a son that goes away and comes home again and we're going to be talking about and thinking about what it means to be found in God. What it means to find our identity, our home, our joy, our peace in the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. I'm really, really excited about this. And I think it's going to be a story that can really speak powerfully to us in this time that we find ourselves in. So that's going to start this Sunday, and we're going to run that for four weeks and I'm really excited about that. Also wanted to offer just kind of a brief word of encouragement this morning. I've been thinking a little bit this past week about our mission as a church. We've said over and over and over again that our mission, our call as a church, as a body of Christ, is to love God and to love people. Now, just because we can't gather here in this place, just because we can't be in this fellowship hall, having coffee, having meals. We can't be in the sanctuary together worshiping. Just because that's the case doesn't mean that our call has ended. Doesn't mean that we are still not the body of Christ. It doesn't mean that God's call for us has stopped. We are still called to be a people who love God with our whole heart, soul, mind, and strength. And we are still called to be a people who love our neighbors as ourselves. So my question for you this morning is what does that look like for you? In this new normal, this new rhythm that you find yourself in, what does it look like for you to love God? To love God with your whole self, to worship him, to adore him, to, to glory and to revel in the presence of God. What does it look like for you to love God during this time? And also, what does it look like for you to love people, to love and take care of yourself, to love your family, to love your neighbor, to love your community? What does it look like for you to love people during this time? Our call as a church, our mission as a church, the reason we exist hasn't stopped. So friends, Whatever that might look like for you today, I pray that God will be gracious to you, and I pray that God will show you his presence and show you his love. And now I, uh, I love you, and I miss you, and I pray that today and every day you are well, you are safe, and you are, you are taking care of yourself. So I love you, and we'll hopefully see you again soon, friends. Thanks.